Okay, so five more questions on uh, algebra. This time we're going to look at uh, mainly at factorising. So that's the inverse process of expanding brackets. We want to put stuff back into brackets. Now, although it doesn't say here, or well, first of all, why don't you pause them and have a go at them yourself? Okay, as always. Then we've got to note something here. When it says factorise, really, sometimes it says factorise fully. So we've got to keep that in mind. Because if I try and put this in brackets, there are a number of answers I could get. I could get an answer to 6x plus 2. And you may argue, actually, I've got that in brackets. I've factorised it. I've just not factorised it fully. So I've chosen a number. If I expand this bracket, 2 times 6x is 12x, and 2 times 2 is 4. So I do get what I started with. It's correct, except it's just not fully factorised. So I don't want to do that. So really, I want to find the biggest number that fits into both or all of our parts of our question. So the biggest thing that fits into both is actually... The number 4. Now, what am I going to need to multiply by 4 to get 12x? Well, I'm going to need to multiply by 3 to get me 12 and x. So that gives me 12x now. Now, what am I going to have to multiply 4 by to get 4? Some people put 0 in here, and that would be wrong, because 4 times 0 is obviously 0. So we need a 1. 4 times 1 is 4. At this stage, I always like to just check that I've done it right. 4 times 3x is 12x. 4 times 1 is 4. Just to check I've done the right thing. Okay, let's look at question 2. Remember, I want to factorise fully. I want to find the biggest thing that goes into both. In this case, it's going to be 6. So 6 multiplied by what? It's going to give me 6x. Obviously, x. 6 multiplied by uh, something has got to give me 18y. That's obviously got to be a 3 to give me the 18. I'm going to need a y as well. And like before, let's just check. 6 times x, 6x. 6, 6 times 3y, 18y. Good. Two new questions. Okay, try them out, see how you get on. Okay, same process applies, except we've now got numbers and letters that might go into both things. So we want to pick up as much stuff as possible from this expression and this expression to go outside our brackets. So the biggest number that goes into 8 and 12 is 4, and there's an x that goes into both. So that's going to go outside my bracket. So how do I get that 8xy? I've got 4, so times that by 2 is going to give me 8. And the y is going to give me 8xy. Plus, it's going to have to be a 3 here, isn't it? Because it's going to be 4 times 3. It's going to be 12, and I need the x. So 4x times 3 is going to give me 12x. So I'm just checking 3 in my head. Same for this one, letters and numbers, we've just got to be careful of the x squared here. So, 3x is obviously the biggest thing that goes into both. The 3 goes into these two numbers, and x goes into x squared and xy. So, I need 2 inside to give me the 6x, but I need 6x squared. So it's going to have to be 2x. Let's check this. Six x squared, good. And here, I'm going to need 3x. I'm just going to need a y. So 3x times y, and it's going to minus because I want a minus 3xy. Okay? Last question comes in a couple of parts, so you might want to go ahead and try these. Um, first bit is a multiply out, the second bit is simplify and factorize. Okay? So if we expand the first bracket, we're going to get 8 times 2x is 16x, and 8 times minus 3 is minus 24. Quite straightforward. Same thing here. 3 multiplied by 4x, 
and 3 times, well, oh, so 4x plus 1, sorry. So 3 times 4x is 12x, 3 times 1 is plus 3. So the first bit was quite straightforward, done. Now what we've got to do is we've got to simplify this expression. So we want to write out this first bracket here, we could change as writing 16x minus 24. Then we want to add on both elements of this. Now I've got to be careful because sometimes if this is a negative, I would have to take away the 12x and take away the 3. So we can get to all sorts of troubles if we've got a take away here and a take away here. So we've got to be careful about that. In this case, I can rewrite the second bracket just as this, and I want to add it on so it's plus 12x plus 3. Now that all simplifies to 16x and 12x is 24x minus 24 plus 3. It's going to give us minus 21. So we've used our expansion and we've simplified the expression. But we also need to, it does ask us to factorise. So it means our final answer we want to put back into brackets. So, just like we've done before, we want to find the biggest number that goes into both of these, which is 3. And then I need 8x inside to give me 24x. And I give minus, I need minus 7 to give me minus 21. Just checking this in my head. Absolutely fine. So I've expanded. I've simplified and then I've factorised. Three key algebra skills.